Bianca, the newly wedded spouse of Kanye West, has embarked on the journey of building a family with her renowned husband, notwithstanding the relentless media frenzy and purported attacks from none other than Kim Kardashian. The epicenter of this uproar can be traced back to Kanye's recent foray into dental transformation, opting for the acquisition of permanent titanium dentures. While this decision was undoubtedly a manifestation of his personal preference, it catalyzed a storm of criticism, with people vehemently scrutinizing his choice and even expressing health concerns. In the midst of this cacophony of disapproval, one beacon of steadfast support emerged in the form of none other than Kanye's devoted wife Bianca Sori. Amid a recent public appearance, paparazzi caught a glimpse of her engrossed in her phone, only to discover that her screensaver was adorned with an image of Kanye's mouth, the very image he had shared on social media during the debut of his dental transformation. Talk about dedication. While Bianca refrained from making any explicit statements on the matter, the undeniable fact that she chose to showcase this image as her screensaver spoke volumes about her genuine admiration for Kanye's newfound dental masterpiece. Curiously, this scenario has given rise to considerable speculation and comparisons, particularly drawing attention from the ever-watchful eye of Kim Kardashian. The juxtaposition of Bianca and Kim has become a subject of discourse among fans, with many lauding Bianca's supportive demeanor reminiscent of Kim. This isn't the first time Bianca has come to Kanye's defense. During a previous controversy involving alleged anti-Semitic comments, Bianca staunchly defended her husband, asserting that the accusations were taken out of context. According to insiders, she adamantly denied the allegations of anti-Semitism and racism, affirming her unwavering support for Kanye. On the flip side, Kim's response to Kanye's controversial statements was markedly different. She distanced herself publicly, stating that she did not endorse his hurtful words. This divergence in their reactions has not gone unnoticed, with fans pointing out the contrasting approaches of the two women in handling their shared history with Kanye. Despite the dissolution of their marriage, there remains an expectation that Kim, as the mother of Kanye's children, would exercise a certain degree of public restraint in not openly criticizing him. The crux of the matter revolves around the notions of loyalty and respect, virtues that seem to be embodied by Bianca Sori. Her consistent display of support for Kanye, regardless of the circumstances, has not only drawn positive comparisons, but has also underscored the commendable qualities of dedication and loyalty. In the court of public opinion, Bianca stands as a paragon of unwavering support, further complicating Kim Kardashian's position in the eyes of the public. As the comparisons persist, it becomes increasingly evident that Bianca's steadfast loyalty is resonating positively with fans, placing Kim in a proverbial pickle as she navigates the delicate balance between personal feelings and public perception. Furthermore, in the scrutiny of Kim's alleged attempt to utilize the media as a tool to criticize Kanye, a myriad of outlets have now emerged with claims about Kanye's financial situation. These reports point to his current residence, a $12,000 apartment spanning 1,820 square feet, as evidence of a downturn in his economic circumstances. While this might be perceived as a comfortable living arrangement for many, critics argue that it represents a notable downgrade for an individual who has been accustomed to a more opulent lifestyle. However, a closer examination reveals that some of these media outlets may be missing the comprehensive context when branding Kanye as financially struggling. The assertion becomes particularly questionable when considering certain aspects of his recent financial decisions. For instance, there's the seemingly incongruent detail of him being able to afford dentures worth $850. This raises pertinent questions about the narrative of financial hardship that is being purported. Moreover, Kanye's recent entrepreneurial pursuits paint a different financial narrative altogether. He recently ventured into launching his own TV station, which not only signifies a significant financial investment but also underscores his active engagement in exploring new avenues. Additionally, his strategic move of filing for various trademarks implies a conscious effort to expand his brand and safeguard his intellectual property, a move hardly indicative of someone facing financial difficulties. Delving into his continued involvement in the music industry, Kanye's collaboration on an album with Ty Dolla Sign showcases not only his artistic commitment, but also his sustained participation in an industry that can be financially demanding. It's essential to recognize that Kanye, far from taking a backseat, continues to make strides in his music career. Furthermore, the release of his inaugural footwear line this year holds considerable significance, especially considering his recent departure from Adidas. This move indicates a deliberate effort to carve his own path in the fashion world, 
suggesting financial stability rather than the alleged adversity. In light of these multifaceted endeavors and accomplishments, it becomes increasingly evident that some media outlets should exercise a more serious and comprehensive approach to their reporting. Instead of relying on biased or limited information, a more nuanced understanding of the broader picture and the evidence that contradicts claims of Kanye's financial struggles is imperative. The various entrepreneurial ventures and achievements in different industries strongly suggest that Kanye West is actively navigating a path of financial stability and success. Nevertheless, as Bianca celebrated her 29th birthday, Kanye had yet to disclose the plans for marking this special occasion. Despite the lack of details, a notable expert, Kieran Elby, weighed in on the matter, proposing that Kanye might find himself in a dilemma between embracing extravagance, a trait for which he became known through his over-the-top parties for his former wife, Kim Kardashian, and opting for a more low-key celebration. Kieran Elby emphasized that Kanye, having orchestrated lavish birthday bashes for Kim Kardashian in the past, might hesitate to replicate such grandeur as it could potentially invite comparisons. The expert pointed out Kanye's inclination to avoid negative press and suggested that, given his recent controversial remarks, a Kardashian-style extravagant celebration might not be the most prudent choice. While such an event could garner attention and positive headlines, the potential for backlash and negative press could outweigh the desired positive impact. Highlighting the challenges Kanye might face in proceeding with a public celebration, Kieran acknowledged that Kanye's recent outspoken comments had undeniably stirred controversy in Hollywood. This could lead some celebrities to steer clear of attending a public celebration, thereby diminishing the prospects of a grandiose party. The potential consequence of reduced attendance could, in turn, thwart Kanye's aspiration for positive press and social validation. The public relations expert even went so far as to suggest that even a modest celebration could inadvertently attract paparazzi and media scrutiny, transforming what was intended to be a personal celebration into an unintended public spectacle. This shift in dynamics could further complicate Kanye's desire for a private and meaningful celebration. In essence, Kieran Elby outlined the intricate considerations and potential pitfalls that Kanye might encounter in navigating the delicate balance between hosting a celebratory event and avoiding unwarranted public attention, given the current landscape shaped by his recent controversial statements. Proposing a more subdued approach to celebrate Bianca's birthday, Kieran offered insights into Kanye's potential considerations, suggesting that, given Bianca's preference for privacy compared to Kim, a more intimate gathering might be well received. This intimate celebration could delve into shared passions, such as art or fashion, creating an atmosphere that not only marks the special occasion, but also contributes to portraying Kanye and Bianca as a united couple, steering clear of the theatrical extravagance often associated with the Kardashian brand delved further into the nuanced balancing act that Kanye would need to navigate in planning such an event. Contemplating the possibility of a small, curated dinner party with close friends and family, he envisioned an environment where Kanye's artistic flair could shine through in various aspects, be it the venue, culinary choices, or entertainment. This deliberate curation could serve as a means to not only showcase Kanye's creativity, but also underscore the values of family unity, presenting a more intimate and genuine side of the celebrity couple. Despite the potential challenges associated with planning such an event, the enjoyment that both Kanye and Bianca seem to derive from each other's company is evident. In fact, Bianca has gone beyond mere companionship, publicly expressing her unwavering support for Kanye in the face of media scrutiny. This public endorsement of their relationship adds an interesting layer to the narrative suggesting a strong bond and solidarity between the two. Now, turning the spotlight to you, the audience. What are your reflections on this situation? Do you find Bianca's steadfast support for Kanye amidst media frenzy admirable? How does Kim Kardashian's approach of distancing herself from Kanye's controversial actions resonate with you? Additionally, Kanye's bold choice of titanium dentures has sparked discussion. Do you view it as a daring fashion statement or perhaps an aesthetic choice bordering on the extreme? Feel free to provide more information for a more comprehensive response. Your insights and opinions contribute to the ongoing discourse surrounding these public figures and their actions.